Ah, well, this is always ominous. This is a horror game, and it is not intended for all audiences. Say the princess contains flickering image effects, as well as a parallax effect that on rare occasions has caused motion sickness in players. Cool. Well, that's... Hmm. Whatever horrors you find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Okay, yeah, sure it is. Uh, I'm not in love with the resolution though, so give me one second here. All right, now settings having been adjusted. Hello, Professor Bright here, and this is Slay the Princess. A very somber sounding intro to it too. I was not aware. I have some like vague notions of what this game is about. You're on a path. Oh, I have a narrator. Woods. Neat. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Who we are presumably here to slay. You're here to slay her. Oh, look, who saw that coming a mile don't, away? It will be the end of the world. Which one? Pray tell. Also, hey, we have a narrator friend. But yes, I'm like vaguely aware that this is some sort of visual novel sort of game. And I don't play a lot of those, but... Hmm. So many options. Oh no. Oh no, this is a visual novel with so many choices. Okay. Interesting. Um, I mean, what are my options here? Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? <laughs> I love this. I kind of love this, but I assume I need to take these explore options to unlock other options later down the road. On the other hand, I do kind of like this just, oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. It's all part of the job. Thanks, narrator, I trust you, implicitly. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess. What are these? I might, but also what is this? Oh, this is just, yeah, follow us on Twitter and the preferences because I, well, I don't know this. I assume this is the Ren P engine. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've only ever seen it written. A warning before you go any further. Oh, okay. She will lie. She will cheat. Oh, and she I like will this do little... everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. That's cool. Also, I like how this is sort of like bow animated, I guess is the way I'm going to phrase it. Like I like the little wavy lines. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay oh. them. Oh, I have multiple narrators. Oh, but is that a... No, sorry. Got distracted by something in the real world there. Um, Yeah, we have multiple narrators. Okay, or rather we have multiple voices. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Are you sure? Also, princesses aren't always good. Let's just leave the it at that. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine mm -hmm. blade. Why? The blade is your implement. But you why, though? It if you want to do this right. I mean, I guess I don't really have an op Can I do this without the blade? I mean... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, he says she's a monster, but like... What evidence do we have? On the other hand... Huh. I don't know. For some reason, this is a very tough choice for me. Like, I can't quite decide... Is that a finger bone? Also, yeah, my finger's kind of messed up looking. Which makes me think I'm some sort of monster. But also, this kind of looks like a finger bone. This little scroll. 
thing. Um, ignoring that and still loving the art direction, uh, let's enter the basement. Why not? The door to the basement creaks open, mm, revealing nope. a staircase faintly illuminated Hate by it. an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. And notice the distortion in the curve on the staircase, which makes it a little bit more unsettling. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? See, the problem with that is that I have been trained by horror uh, tropes to think that that is a monster's voice. Hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Oh, that's not a good trait to have. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. <laughs> Hi, just checking in on you. You are? Yeah. It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I, I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. No, apparently uh, quite a few people have been playing this game recently, and so I decided, hey, I'll check it out. Although, hasn't this game been out for a while? Am I crazy for thinking that? And lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the base. What happened to the other chain? She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Uh, by using a weapon by being skilled, by being a sort of a, like a mask for a greater evil. Uh, so many ways, dear hero. So many ways. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Uh, kind of love the narrator. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Yes. But before we do that. Okay. What's your name? Oh. She pauses. Well? Carefully formulating her words before she responds. Why? Why, though? But why? You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Hmm. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? <laughs> Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? It'd be pretty terrible. Also, something about this art style is very intentional, but it kind of reminds me of, like, if you knew people who were artistic back in, like, high school, like these giant eyes, these inhumanly large eyes, inhumanly large anime eyes, uh, yeah, this kind of, like, style reminds me of that. Where they were sort of transitioning from being a skilled artist to a, um, from, like, just amateurish artist? I don't know. There's, like, a a way of phrasing that. I've phrased it very poorly, but, you know, that transition from basically high school level art to college level art, if that translates well. Uh, also, her eyes are way too big. Just monstrously large. Horrifyingly so. Is there something in that... I'm sorry. Is there something in her eye right there? Like, don't get me wrong, the whole anime art style thing, eyes are usually grotesquely large when you actually consider human anatomy. But also, hers are especially large. Implying she's nocturnal or perhaps... Mm, I don't know. I don't know what this is exactly. But I'm just like, I'm looking at this and being like, you are definitely going to kill me. This is definitely one of those games where I'm going to die, but... So is Princess your name? Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. Hey, that's not the question I asked. I asked if that's your name. I'm sorry, I've been down here so long I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, a little bit. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. I mean, that's a bit of a stretch. And slay her before it's too late. 
It's a bit of a stretch. Like, she doesn't have a name, therefore stab her in the chest. Uh... Maybe we try something else beforehand? I mean... Ugh, I'm not gonna like the answer to this either way. But if I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? Uh, sent here to... Actually, you kind of want to do that too, but um... Hum, 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 hum. Hum, 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 hum. Yeah, what have you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. I think it has a lot to do with anything. How are this you still alive? This is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. I mean, it's the sort of thing that distinguishes between her being a monster or her being a human. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Eh. Yeah, I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you were I'm here for- down here for a reason. You're locked up here for a reason, but why? I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation. So are these scratch right? marks from where you tried to claw your way out? I'm sorry, I'm just sort of noticing them just now for some reason. You have all the explanation you need. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. Well, I don't trust you either, narrator. And I'm sorry, why don't you stab the princess, huh? 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 What the f- uh, okay. I just told her that she's supposed to end the world. I wanted to see you for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. It, is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I mean, you've only been able to see it out. Ha when did they throw you down here? Exactly. Like, have you lived out your whole life here? Has it been a few years? Has it been a day? What's the... Silence. What's the, uh, what's the context of this? I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? Thank you for asking. Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Nope. I was hoping you'd tell me. I don't know how to destroy the world, if that's what you're getting at. I believe her. Well, yeah, but you were also charmed by her voice, so... Kinda don't trust you, hero. She Sorry. She doesn't know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Okay, would you like to explain, sir? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I don't trust that, and I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. True. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. Hmm. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. I mean, yeah. A little bit really messed up. Do you think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? You tell me. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here, and those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't okay. let turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose I mean, the two can all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Things can be complicated. They can be two things. It could be about trust versus risk. You know. There are complexities to reality, let's be honest. Pretending, oh, it's all about one thing. This one thing is the key to everything. That's just absurd. But also, like, you're saying this, what evidence do I have? Also, she's a princess. They technically don't rule anything. They will in the future rule something, but at the moment, they kind of just don't. Technically, if you want to go back to the 
reality of, you know, the real world, they are kind of like bargaining chips, basically is what they were back in the medieval times. You'd need a medieval scholar to get into the nitty-gritty details, but yeah, they didn't really have that much authority. Um, I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I stayed for a while and just kept you company? Maybe then everybody could be happy. I mean, this doesn't seem correct. I'm gonna keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to... Whoa, uh, 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 ick. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Um, no. I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up. Examine the chains... Uh, I mean, uh, okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Don't make me regret this. She's gonna Not bite my head off or something. Or difficult. Thank you, and, and you won't. I promise. You're making a huge mistake. Probably. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. Mm -hmm. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Nope. Maybe sure it's somewhere don't. upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion uh, with almost complete nonchalance. As in cutting out the chain, or as in cutting off your arm? If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about mm. cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. Actually, technically, you'd only have to get the hand, I think. But you attempt to make minor details. The basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the Rude. of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. I mean, it's a wooden door. Like, and granted, you are in a staircase and it's hard to get, like, leverage, but I'm pretty sure you could kick through that. Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Well, princess, you make your way bad to the news. of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Oh, well, I'm sorry I didn't trust random narrator. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yep. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Uh... She barely oh, hesitates my God. before raising her no. arm to mm -mm. her mouth, nope. mm -mm. her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination yep. of a trapped wolf. I knew the eyes were... Yep. Nope. Hey. No. Not doing that. Mm -mm. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. Hey. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a Ugh, time to stop, I mean, it's like... now. Mm -mm. Or we could use it to free her. We could. We could. You won't like what happens if you do that. I have the feeling that she's going to bite my head off. Uh, just, mm. uh, are we a hero or are we a hero? <laughs> Which kind of hero are we? Do we trust the princess or the narrator? Well, I don't like doing what I'm told, so... <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment. Oh! No! No, 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 no. No, see, that's not what I. On the okay! Arm, just above I mean. The unyielding chain binding her to this place. Two points of order. Um, one, I appear to have talons? Am I like some sort of harpy bird boy kind of deal? And, uh, second point of order. Um, did you want to look for, like, a lock on that instead of just going directly into slicing through bone with a knife that is clearly meant for stabbing and not slashing or cutting or sawing so many other better ways second or third point of order because i'm sorry i'm a little bit panicked right now uh the, the the face is the face is horrifying this is awful i hate this i hate this but i mostly hate this 
so much. You can't into her flesh. Ha! Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. The blade is sharp. And it well, saw that coming a mile away. The bone of her arm. I feel like you could have just gone this angle right up here and it would have lost less mass there. Her limb falls to the ground and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. Yeah, it's almost like she's some sort of inhuman monster. Who could have seen this coming? No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets <laughs> yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. <laughs> and look at that smile. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Uh-huh. Approach the locked door. You won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. Okay, cool. Explain yourself. As the princess Pardon? approaches what? the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Oh, damn. What are you doing? Ah. Stop that. Something's I'll warn her, though. Hasn't it? You know you don't have to do this, right? Well, I'm afraid to actually progress. Uh, I do have to select something. Lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Yeah, but I don't... The blade's bloody now. Was it bloody the entire time? The cursor blade, to be clear. Not this blade, but the blade of the cursor. I feel like I'm going to regret this decision, but I'm I'm committed. The blade. Move the blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. It quite literally isn't. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? Resisting. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Um. She plunges oh, it into okay. your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It didn't see that coming. Agony. But you aren't dead yet. Of course not. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Stay that, that, strong. Go, go for the neck. For go for the neck. Done. For her sake. Instead of going for the chest, go for, for the neck. For her sake. Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some <laughs> sort of heroic gesture. I kind of love him. Two of you have literally doomed everyone. I mean, we've doomed ourselves. Technically, you doomed us, okay? Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again. The carotid again, artery? No, we're just going to go for the chest. Cool, cool, cool. Every inch burning pain that slices its way into your body. A stabs actually stabs its way into the body is the the issue, but you know. I'm sorry, oh god. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, this is horrifying, but also it's kind of hilarious. She's like, "I'm sorry, stab, stab, stab." She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? I mean, clearly no. Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound. It won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. Well, this has been a pleasant game so far can't just end like this. I mean, it looks like it did. Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Chapter 2. The Damsel. Okay. You're on a path 
in the and woods. And we got some distortion in the and music. At the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. Getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Uh-huh. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Fair point, but that implies that the princess is the one that sent us back, or some third entity. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? Fourth entity. If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky. Beloved, <laughs> yeah, okay. Our beloved? Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Wait, four? I've got the hero, the smitten, me. Number four? We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. Yeah, he kind of seems like, like an idiot. Sounds like the sort sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Yep, kind of on the narrator's side on this one. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth. <sighs> oh, sorry. Uh, it's just so sickening to me. But, uh... This is more than just deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Mm. Yeah, let's actually... Let's dive into this further. Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Appreciated. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Technically, it happened because I got locked inside the basement. I didn't get locked inside the basement. None of this would have happened. You were the one who did us in, villain. Dudley do right, almost. Ah, uh, I haven't seen all those old cartoons in forever. Anyway, a bit of a tangent there. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Did he, the narrator, did he, or did something else? Something the narrator works for, perhaps? Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. Hmm. I'm not going to argue with <laughs> Of course you do. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. I'll definitely be ignoring the smitten. I'm sorry, I just don't anyway, have that. I believe your second no. question was, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. I think it's severe consequences. I now have another voice in my head. And apparently I'm going to have another one because there's supposed to be four of us. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That I mean, she didn't have to kill us. Free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Ooh. Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? That's a fun little possibility. If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? That timeline just sort of continued on. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything just like I told you she would? Yeah, but if it's already over, then... Huh. 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 It begs the question of if... Oh, I hate that. This seems like something that you could hide something behind a bush with how these movements are allowing me to see things. Like that little space up there. Hmm. Okay. And again, there's this sketch quality to all of this that I kind of love. 
Like someone sketched all this out. Huh. Uh, I'm sorry, regardless. Getting distracted by art and also the implications of are there infinite other universes or are there a finite number of universes? Obviously because this is, you know, a finite story, there can't be infinite universes in this one, so that timeline might be dead, but then if that timeline is dead, ended, etc., does it matter? Kind of? Probably? Yes, actually, it absolutely does. Although, eh, I don't know. There's discussions to be had about in an infinite universe, does one part of that infinite universe matter? Uh, yeah, kind of, to the people in it anyway. Anyway, not important. What we're here to do is probably slay a princess. She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part she of bit some her arm convoluted, off. dastardly scheme. Like, she bit a chunk of her arm off and didn't flinch. Convoluted. I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her. She could barely hold a knife. How is she supposed to end the world? She just can. Believe me, I wish uh... I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Maybe it's her beauty that threatens the world. I want to rip you out of my skull. Sure, it's her beauty. Why not? And before you ask, no, we can't just keep her down there. I mean, she broke one out of two chains, that makes sense. to find a way out. It's unfortunate, yeah. I know, but it's just the way it is. Also, I should wait for him to finish speaking before I respond, but it's one of those cases of I just read it and it's like, you know. You know how it is when these types of games. Who locked her in that basement and what is Who this place? Locked her in that basement? told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Hmm. Yeah, if people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Also, what am I? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. I wonder. It's just the way things are. I wonder what direction this is all going to go. Oh. I didn't know we were special. I mean, I have voices in my head, so, you know. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Uh, because it's my job and I get paid to do this? Because someone just handed me a knife and said, go do it? Um... You know, because someone hit start on a recording button, and uh, thus I am here. Calling us special isn't going to make us friends, even if it did feel nice. Yeah, it might have felt nice for you guys, oh, but... believe mm. me, the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. But I'm a professional, and I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. Wait, why don't you like me? Is it because I keep defying you? Uh, that would be a valid to, reason, I guess. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Mm, okay. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. Okay, I right. guess that's all for now. now. If you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Okay, let's go to the cat. Well, proceed to the cabin. <sighs> proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. Pardon? She will lie. She will cheat. Oh, yes, yes. She will I'm do everything yeah. in her power to stop you from slaying her. I'm aware. Don't believe a word she says. This is something you've already told me, but okay. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. 
See, I'm not even going to say anything about this guy now. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. Quite possible. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions mm -hmm. are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Agreed. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Stabbing a poor innocent child. Yep. Cool. Because again, Prince, actually I guess you could have a the princess who was... The cabin is clean um, and elegant. Its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. Pardon? Prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay, now I'm having a memory problem because I don't know if this particular table was exactly the same. Obviously, obviously, all the rest of this doesn't make sense because this was a log cabin a minute ago, and now it's some sort of castle dungeon. Also, hi. It is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Sure, sure, sure. But also, uh, that mirror? Walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Interesting. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin hmm. wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. Yeah, um, what are we, exactly? Very different. Yeah, it's very different from where it, it was. I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time around. Well, uh, yeah, I don't think you existed last time around. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. I totally was, but okay. So focus up. Stop letting yourself get distracted. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing knight, we need an equally dashing sword. That way she'll know we can defend her from her enemies. <laughs> yeah, okay. Hopefully it doesn't put her on edge, and hopefully it doesn't get turned on us again. Yeah. There's no use arguing yeah. with the motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. What do I get for doing this besides the survival of the entire world? What do I get out of this? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Interesting. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Oh, I love the art style here. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Interesting that you say that. Also, this is considerably less horrifying than the other one. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice... It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. We are not marrying this princess. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. With the hero on this. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. The manipulation, you say. You walk down the stairs Darius. and lock eyes with the princess. Um, There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. You look different. Um, My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Is that chain connected to that? Because I don't see where it connects, and that's got me worried. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely <laughs> she can hear my spirit. Yep, yep. You you go. Oh, go get her, Gr It's plenty <laughs> yep. loud, all right. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. 
Um, Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. She also said come back. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? I know, right? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. I have. That's right, villain. And you killed us. But technically she did. Well, she killed us. Yep. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Not Our entirely, but okay. Unstained by cruelty. <laughs> yeah, um, mm. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end, and now I'm even more certain that we How must would chase you know? a heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. Yeah, I'm with uh, the narrator. Well, mm. Do I have to cut you out again? I really didn't care for that. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I did not like that. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. I really don't want to. We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able uh, to step her right out with no harm done. And why hasn't she already gotten out? What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? No, no you're not. She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. Hmm. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. <laughs> so go ahead okay. and slay her. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. Uh, huh. But before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Oh, I hate that. Isn't that just like our darling princess? Oh, she I hate wants it. to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes hate it. beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. Would it make you happy if I killed the entire planet? Uh... Uh, no? Then I didn't end the world. See? She didn't confess anything. <laughs> she is <laughs> yeah, okay. itself. Oh, would that upset you? Then no, I didn't do it. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. I'm not so sure. <laughs> um... I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. I'm sorry, The this is somehow not as bad as her biting her hand open, her arm open, rather. But it's also just that. Ugh. She took that in stride. Uh, yep. To a surprising extent. She's extremely to unsettling. Unsettling extent, actually. Downright terrifying. That's because she's perfect. <laughs> you, you know, you she no. Has someone like him telling her what to do. Actually, an she interesting doesn't. question. It's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, yep. Uh, you killed me last time and it hurt a lot. Why'd you do that? I'm sorry. Didn't you want me to? No! God, what? what? Didn't you want me to stab you? No! Did we? We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. No, it's she not. She is our beloved, 
And she made the choice to free us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to think these voices are coming from her. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. I mean, I'm just kind of... Ah. I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious how this changes things. So slay the princess. Blade in hand, you run the princess down. Wait, no. You barbarian, what do you think you're doing? I think I'm stabbing this princess. But you ignore the pleas of the foolish little voice and press on. The princess's eyes grow wide with terror as you approach. But oh. she does absolutely nothing to stop you. And interestingly, note that the hand has the knife and also the knife has no blood on it. Which actually, hold up, this is changed to the hand with the knife when? Did it change when we picked up the knife? Or did it change before then? Because we had just, like, the little, you know, pointy talon thing earlier. The pointy talon pointer. Yes, that's a good description of it. Huh. Nice attention to detail, but also is there significance to it? Your blade pierces oh. her heart, and she collapses pathetically to the ground. I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? No. No. My love, you did nothing wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not you. Also, you should definitely be able to slip your hand right out of that. I'm going to die now. I think that's what you want. God, that's horrifying. And just like that, she's dead. And the world is saved. Thank you for seeing this through. <laughs> I know it must have been. I'm sorry. I'm... What? Oh, I feel sick. I mean, I feel like we did her a favor. Her brain was... Sick. Far too. You took part in the murder. I don't know. The There's something wrong there. And you merely feel sick. I, for one, am absolutely distraught, grief-stricken, inconsolable. You're gonna make me kill myself, aren't you? Sorry. You're gonna make me unalive myself, aren't you? Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. You'll get over it. You just saved. Everyone. That's why the music stopped. Get over it. You smarmy ass. There's nothing in the world worth getting over it for. We might as well just end it all. You raise the yep. blade, aiming the point directly towards your hut. Excuse me? No, you absolutely do not do that. Yeah, let's not make any rash decisions. We should give ourselves <laughs> a minute, take a deep breath, and rash. The only rash decision we've made was running our cursed blade through her heart. This is far from rash. This um, is measured. This is the only thing left for us uh, to do now that she's gone. I would like to have a voice in this decision. Um, no? Exactly. You're not doing this. Nope. All of you may have previously thought that my passions were too great to stifle, but those were merely passions of joy. My passions of sorrow run deeper than the ocean itself, and you'll find that they are far more unstifleable. Haven't you? Haven't you all? I don't believe this. What? What don't you believe? Ow! Push the blade into your own heart and collapse to the floor. You can't be serious. Why are you helping him? I'm not. He just made it happen. I'm sorry. Hey! That's right. You're all sorry. Everything goes dark, and you die. Well, damn. Chapter 3, The Grey. You're on a path in the woods. You horrid monster. Do you think just because we've returned to the woods you've earned my forgiveness? Oh my. I love it at best be alive and well when we return to the cabin, or you'll never know the end of my wrath. Fascinating. Do I have time for one more run? I do not. But this this has gotten into a uh... she won't be alive and well Sorry. when we return to that cabin because she's dead. We killed her. And there's another voice. One more run. Why not? 
it'll be a bit long for a first go, but it... I don't know. I'm interested in where this goes. You killed her, and so I killed you. And you clearly didn't do a good enough job. I'm still here. Ooh. Oh, and I'm still here too. Oh, well, glad. Actually, you seem to be like the only voice of reason we have here. If you lot get to be blessed with seemingly eternal life, that must mean she's still there, waiting for us to throw ourselves at her feet in remorse. Now I wonder if each of these runs is just like a series of chapters, and it ends in one particular way. Is that how this game works? I doubt it. I think I'm better at killing. So you've been here before. Of course you've been here before. What count is it this time? Two? Yep. Uh, no, you're number three. Sorry. It's our third. What gave it away? The presence of four voices. Your open discussions. I couldn't care less what he knows. Every second we stand around arguing in the woods is a second that I'm anxiously worrying about her. Point take of order. To the cabin well, and take us there now. With each passing moment, our relationship may be damaged even further. Though I fear the rift between us may already be permanent. Yeah. Point of order. We aren't in a forest. These are hills. It appears to be hills, plains, perhaps. No, nope, hills. Because you can't. Question: Can you be a set of plains? No. Because planes are flat land. Yes. Good. Right. Establishing things. Um. Yeah, this isn't a forest. And if it is permanent, then what? You'll kill us again. Oh, you just wait and see. My vengeance will echo the depths of my bereavement. Don't provoke him. I prefer if we didn't die again. I'm not fond of dying. I'm with the hero on this one. Why not? You've already done it twice. Yeah, and it sucked both times. It was unpleasant. It was only unpleasant because you think it's supposed to be unpleasant. No, no, it's pretty unpleasant. I'll make you Just feel what the I feel. The bleeding? It's the last thing I do. Mm. And mark my words, you won't like it when it happens. Oh, how exciting. I'd love to see you try. Would you though? Can I? Well, I'm not just going to try. <laughs> I'm going to actually. I'm do with it. the narrator on this, like. I'm looking hmm. forward to it. Did you resolve the tension between you two later? Good. I am too. Can I talk now? Yes, I can. Great. Now that you're listening, let me remind you that if you're not the woods, in the woods, still not the woods means though. The princess is not dead, and that her very existence currently poses a direct threat to the entire world. We're actually in a set of hills. If this isn't the same path in the woods you're used to, that means that her influence is already spreading and you're running out of time. Wait. But if her influence is spreading, that means there's hope. That means uh, our is waiting but up there for What us. do you mean Ready her influence is spreading? Amends. Yes, I already told you that she's alive. Don't mind him. I don't think he's doing too well. Yeah, he's pretty well. Uh, what's the word I want to use? Um, insane. I'm doing better than any of you. I'm doing great. She's alive. Influence doesn't require life. But if things restarted, why wouldn't she be alive? Who said they restarted? All they've done is change. Cold's got a point. I shan't listen to the vile mutterings of you serpents. Onward! Our living, breathing princess awaits us. I mean, she's probably alive, but I don't know about breathing. <sighs> I'm the one in charge here, and if we say... <laughs> yeah, that's definitely the way we want to do this. Uh, what happens if we don't go to the cabin? She'll find a way out eventually, and the world will still end. The only way this resolves is if you find her and slay her before that happens. Again, he makes her out to be a monster. I'm tired of all this slander. I mean, she's, she's certainly never monstrous. Hurt anyone in her life except for us, and that was our fault. Uh. We don't sure. Know that. She could have done all sorts of things we weren't around to see. 
Also true. Turn around and leave. Go to the cabin. I'm fine with either. So long as we don't just do the same thing again. That would be boring. That's an interesting point of... Hmm. What happens if I just did the same thing over and over again? Interesting question. I'm the one in charge here. If we slay her again, you are not going to make us kill ourselves. Is that clear? Oh, it's clear, you murderer. Though I should remind you that you're not as in charge as you seem to think you are. I'm really not. I'm sure his outburst last time was just a fluke. I wouldn't worry about it. Besides, if he kills us again, he kills us again. It doesn't matter. He'll tire out of it. The flame of passion always burns out in the I think I kind of want to put the voice up a bit more so the cold's got a little bit more, you know, sound to it. Spoken like a true cynic. Enough bickering. More volume. Just stay focused and get to the cabin. Oh, well, whatever happens next, seems like our answers are in the cabin. Might as well see this through. Or also... Hmm. Ah, uh, you know, I'm curious. I'm done with this. Bye! You can't run from your consequences forever. One Shows what you know about me. Face what you've done. Nah, I'm good. Let's see what we can find. It's bound to be more interesting than doing the same thing over again. Yeah, we'll see Wait, what we find. Something isn't right. C can you still hear me? You're supposed to wind up at the cabin, but everything is getting... Oh? W what's going on? Where are we? I don't know. But it feels like... home. Of course. Interesting. Oblivion is what we deserve. Oblivion? Or is this hair? The world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothingness. It is quiet. There is a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. Oh, delightful. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Resistance. Fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. I need something empty I can crawl inside of. I need something shaped like me. Uh, the glass. I'm sorry. Tell me more about this glass soul, though. But curious. Embrace the thoughts constricting you, or this is a nightmare. Wake up. I mean, it is a nightmare, but we embrace the thoughts. Urgency. You have a story you need to finish. It's the only way for us to escape this place. Force pushing against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. This world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something anew. A wagging finger. There's only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am our only salvation. Chapter 1. The Hero and the Princess. Oh! You're on a path in the woods. Interesting! And at the end of that path is a cabin and the basement, and the basement of, that cabin of that cabin is a princess is a princess fascinating truly fascinating i wonder how much of this is going to break the fourth wall and how much of it isn't because that idea of this glass surface of your soul i mean there is glass between me and the game quite literally and the way it was sort of at the edges of the screen Fascinating. Truly fascinating. And now we're back at chapter one. And now I have questions about, is this going to be the same as the original chapter one, or is this going to be different? I don't know. But I am interested enough that I will be doing yet another episode on this. At least one more. Maybe more. I don't know how long this game is. I don't know how much there is to explore. But for now, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon.
What a game. What a hell of a narrative. Love this.